Good morning, everyone. I am Rijan Sathapa. I study in grade 10 in Imperial World School. Today, I'm here to explain about area of circle. I think most of us know that area of circle is pi r square. But the question here is, how is the formula derived? In this presentation, I'll explain the derivation of area of circle by dividing the circle into different equal parts. So when we observe this picture, we can see that the circle is divided into four equal parts. And when we unfold the parts and resemble it into something like this, then we can see, like, I think we can get a bare visual of parallelogram in our head. Now, when we take another circle and divide into smaller parts and reassemble it like before, then yes, it almost looks like a parallelogram. Now the question may arise in your head. Into how many equal parts should the circle be divided so that it can resemble a perfect parallelogram? In order to answer this question and to make things more understandable and interesting, I would like to use some any. So now we are here at GeoGebra. Now we can observe that the circle is divided into eight different sectors. And when we unfold the sectors and reassemble it, then yes, again, a bare region of parallelogram. Now, when we divide the circle into more sectors like this and unfold it, and reassemble it. Then yes, now it looks like a parallelogram. Now when we divide the circle into infinite sectors like this, here we go. It resembles a parallelogram. So the answer to the question is, the circle should be divided infinite times so that it resembles a perfect parallelogram. By keeping this thing in mind, We'll observe some more examples and derive the area of circle. So here we can see the circle is divided into different many infinite parts. And again, when we unfold it and reassemble it like we did before, then here we can see the parallelogram. So now the conclusion is, when we slice the radius of a circle and reassemble it, them like shown in the figure infinitely, then we can see that it forms parallelogram. We know that area of parallelogram is equals to base into height. Since the area of parallelogram is base into height, when we convert the circle into parallelogram, then the height is equals to the radius of the circle. So we suppose the height as r. Now the base of the parallelogram is equals to pi r. The value of pi can be written as 22 by seven. So now by focusing on the area of parallelogram, we can conclude that the area of circle is pi r into r, which is equals to pi r square. In this way, by comparing the area of circle to the area of parallelogram, we can conclude that the area of circle is equals to pi r square. Thank you.